We got rock stars in the house from skating to an actual band. We got rock star Mike Bellily and Wade Thompson here, owner of Captain Roy's. And we got a big show to tell you about. Thank you guys for both being here. It's awesome to have you. Always so chill when you come through. <laughs> so it's you're going to finally start your shows back in Des Moines again. We've been waiting for this. Yeah, well, I came through a couple weeks ago with Black Flag and yeah. played at the gas lamp. Yeah. But our band here in Des Moines, a complete disaster. We haven't gigged in a while because I've been busy traveling, doing other stuff. All over the world. But we're very excited to get back to playing. Yeah. And we're playing this Saturday night at the gas line. Yes. So we're tell fired us. Up. Tell us the lineup for people, especially who've never heard your music before. Well, I don't know. What, what can we say? <laughs> what can we say about it? I mean, uh, we play heavy rock and roll, but it's fun. It's like a real kind of party atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's dynamics to it. I mean, there's some real heavy stuff, some real deep stuff, but then it's just kind of like, yeah, just have a good time. And yeah. what's the background of the band? You play bass. I play bass. Yeah, how'd you uh, get involved? Well, uh, I actually met Mike riding mountain bikes. Nice. And uh, a buddy of ours, Dan Koenig, introduced us. He was like, dude moved to town. He wants to ride bikes. You should get together with him. And then we just started talking and I found out that he was a musician as well. Yeah. And I said, well, let's uh, play some rock and roll. Yeah. He said, hey, we, you know, me and my, me and my brother play. We yep. should jam. I was like, we were coming out of the pandemic. I hadn't mm -hmm. been, I hadn't toured or played music in a bit. I was like, that sounds like fun. Yeah. I got went to get, went and hooked up with them. We started playing and I was like, oh, no, no, this isn't just jamming. This is a band. Yeah. And it just kind of went from there. Yeah. And you're, you know, you made a good point there. We're all coming out of the pandemic, but we're also coming out of winter and skate parks are opening up again. So it's awesome yeah. to have you in town, you know, not just doing great concerts, but also everyone wants to see you throw down on the skate park. Well, I'll be there on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, right, right? Yeah. And for this weekend, there's several things going on. Yeah. Uh, tell us about everything Captain Roy's is hosting. Uh, so uh, tomorrow morning, Friday, um, we're having a, it's called River Fest, and uh, we're doing a river cleanup, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, meet at Captain Roy's around 9 a.m., uh, clean up the river banks, maybe hit Union Park a little bit and then come back and we're serving uh, free lunch to the volunteers. And then on Saturday morning, we're doing Pedal for Paws yeah. with the ARL. So okay, nice. Always a great cause. I uh, love it. Fun event. Yeah, doing great things for the community. Yeah. What's it like when you go on tour, you know, you'll travel, travel, travel. You've chosen Iowa as home. What's it like coming back to Iowa? Uh, the crowd, the vibe, the energy, you know, when you get to play here. Oh, well, that's great. But just coming back to Iowa is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've been this year alone. I've been all over the world. Yeah. And I love everywhere I go. I, I always kind of travel with the eyes of a tourist and try to make the most of and enjoy every place I go. But there's nothing like home. We're really glad to call you know Des Moines and Iowa yeah. home. And uh, very excited to be able to play yeah. our music here. Yeah. And when it comes to hitting the skate park again, you always spread a message of just encouraging kids to come through. And sometimes that's not necessarily about just encouraging the kids. It's the people that have been there forever to not make it an intimidating environment. So as you know, people start coming out again, what do you want to see in the well, skates? I'm just not a guardian of culture, you know, yeah. like I just don't think like, uh, oh, skating's supposed to be this or supposed to be that. Skating is whatever anybody wants it to be. Yeah. And the skate park should be a, a free place to be whoever you are and do whatever you want to do um, without any rules. Yeah. You know, the, the umpires are cool need to take a break and, uh, <laughs> and you know, start opening the door and putting out the welcome mat. That we need to see that everywhere yeah. in all aspects of life. I love it, yeah. But skateboarding is what I love and what I do and that's the thing that I care most about. So yeah. it's important to me that people are uh, encouraged yeah. to just be free to, to do whatever they want. That is why we love your vibe. And it's great to have you here too. Can't wait to see you guys throw down Saturday. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Cool. Yeah. yeah. 